We're going to do three different experiments with this metal sphere. First, we're just going to stick it in some liquid nitrogen. In the second experiment, we'll do the same thing, but this time we'll heat the sphere until it's orange hot first. For the third experiment, we'll also use an orange hot sphere, but this time we'll stick it in some water. Okay, now that everything is all set up, let's see what happens. We're going to set a timer for each experiment so we can see how long it takes for the sphere to quench in all three cases. If you look at the experiment in water, you can see a vapor barrier has formed around the sphere. This vapor film insulates the sphere from the liquid, allowing it to stay hot for quite some time. They call this the Leidenfrost effect. It's happening in the other two liquids too, but it's just kind of hard to see. Whoa, did you see that? The sphere in water has cooled enough so the vapor film has collapsed. It looks like this took about 20 seconds to occur. Now let's focus on the two spheres in liquid nitrogen. It makes sense that the boiling is much more vigorous around the sphere that was heated to a high temperature. The vigorous boiling around the sphere makes it tough to see the vapor film, but I think I can make it out. I can more easily see the insulating film around the sphere that started at room temperature, but it doesn't look as thick as the hotter sphere, and it certainly doesn't look as thick as the one that was in water. It takes a long time for the spheres in liquid nitrogen to cool enough for the vapor barrier to collapse. So let's speed up the video. Okay, the video is back to regular speed. Look carefully around the sphere that was initially at room temperature and you'll see the vapor barrier collapse. Whoa, that took almost three minutes, but we still have one more sphere to go. Let's see how long this one takes. All right, the video's back down to regular speed so we can watch the last sphere quench. Hey, I thought that was pretty cool. And remarkably, it took over five minutes for this sphere to cool. Well, there you have it. The sphere at room temperature in liquid nitrogen took almost three minutes to quench. The hot sphere in liquid nitrogen took over five minutes to quench. And the hot sphere in water took about 20 seconds. Hey, there's a lot going on in these experiments that I didn't cover. And if you saw anything interesting, be sure to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Oh.